So Ken is a home inspector with a buyer's choice home inspections, um, where he is a certified master inspector and certified inspector, trainer, and mentor. His attention to detail, knowledge, and professional approach, blended with his humor and friendly personality, helped set Ken apart from his competitors. Ken works really well with realtors, home buyers and sellers, real estate investors, and mortgage lenders. His services complement the real estate buying and selling process perfectly, making him an invaluable part of your next real estate transaction. Uh, in his spare time, Ken enjoys camping, as we saw the last few weeks when he was. Uh, out camping while on the BNI meeting, which is awesome. Uh, he enjoys riding his motorcycle, fishing, quadding, and exploring. And now Ken may be a home inspector, but you know what I think would be a really great job? A mirror inspector. I could really see myself doing it. Jeez, tough crowd today. All right, Corinne's giving me the wave. Anyway, let's hear more from Ken himself. I'm excited, Ken. Take it away, sir. Oh, thanks, Greg. Just uh, share my screen here. So, good morning, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, home maintenance inspections and, and what we um, do to uh, during these inspections for you. So home inspections are not only for when you are buying and selling. Because uh, a home can't speak for itself. However, it does give indications of its current and future health. Give your home the physical checkup it needs. Whether it gets a clean bill of health or not, it's always better to know what issues or challenges may be creeping up or in need of immediate attention. Is it time to give your home an inspection? When was the last time you were in your attic, your crawl space, or on your roof? Have you pulled the panels off your electrical systems or your heating and to ensure optimal operation? Has it been a while since you pulled out the thermal imaging or moisture meter, simply gone to your entire property to find co? We will. Your home is like your health. You have to maintain it to enjoy a long life. A Buyer's Choice Home Inspections helps you stay on top of your home's health with our exclusive Home Maintenance Inspection Service. A comprehensive home maintenance inspection by a professional home inspector can be the best investment that a homeowner can make over the lifetime of their home. A Buyer's Choice Home Maintenance Inspection is a great value to homeowners because of three key things. It assists you by interpreting what your home is trying to tell you and how to recognize the early warning signs to avoid major repair costs. Did you know studies have been shown that 50% of the repair costs could be easily avoided with simple maintenance to your home? All homes try to speak to their owners by sending messages that are cries for help. Yet many people don't understand these signs and signals. A maintenance inspection can help you prevent minor issues from turning into major repair problems. Did you know that the leading cause of home fires is due to lack of home maintenance? Our local professionals can diagnose this evidence and give you comfort by identifying defective items that require immediate attention. They can also let you know which marginal items can be deferred to a later date, as well as a list of future items that can be put into a maintenance plan. We also protect you and your home by giving you customized seasonal home maintenance guidelines and an extensive list of recommended neighborhood contractors and service professionals. Did you know that regular inspections and good maintenance practices are the best way to protect your investment in your home? Take your home's health as seriously as you take your own and start creating a plan for your home's long-term health with a buyer's choice home maintenance inspection today. 
He'll be glad you did. Great. Our home maintenance inspections include roof surfaces. So we're looking at the condition of the roof material. We check for granule loss, cracking, lifting, buckling of roof material, as well as any missing or damaged roofing material. Inspecting the roof components. We check for sealants, the flashing, check conditions of gutters, and look for missing downspouts and leaders. Many homeowners don't know the importance of good gutter systems and ensuring they are properly maintained. Proper maintenance can prevent things like water ingress, water, water damage to the structure, and premature roof material deterioration. Inspecting the lots and grounds. Common things we come across is the grading or the soil is contact is too close to the siding and, and can cause water wicker, moisture damage, and pest related issues. It can also lead to poor lot drainage issues. Plants and trees that are too close to the structure can cause building envelope damage, prevent proper drying of exterior wood component, components, and lead to wood decay, as well as pest issues. Exterior components, making sure vents, exhausts are in good shape, and the pest screens are in place. Missing pest screens are very common. Caulking and sealing um, conditions prevent water ingress and related issues. We often come across uh, cracking, caulking and sealing around windows and doors and where uh, wood components meet. Important to keep that part maintained so water does not penetrate. We also look for the condition of wood component, components. Wood rot stop before it gets extensive can prevent expensive repairs down the road. Mechanical components includes the water heaters, HVAC systems such as the furnace, AC and heat pumps. We look to see the age of the water heater and other systems. Water heaters typically um, last 10 to 12 years and insurance companies don't often like to see them go over that age. Do you know how old your water heater is? And are they operating properly? Have they been properly maintained? A lot of people don't know that they need to clean their heat pumps and ACs and keep them running efficiently. Electrical components. We look at the service uh, entrance and the and the condition of the of the, the wires and, and where they um, enter the building. We open electrical panels, remove covers, and identify types of wiring. Look for look for flags such as double tapping, heat damage, or loose breakers. We check for and test for electrical outlets, all the lighting, the loose and, and common things we come across are loose outlets and improperly wired or open ground and reverse repair, uh, reverse polarity outlets. Plumbing components. Ident we identify materials used like poly B, galvanized piping, um, et cetera, that you would see in older homes. Um, there's there's often problems with, with these types of plumbing and they failed prematurely. And uh, it's a good idea to get them um, replaced. We check all the fixtures, this, um, including sinks and uh, tubs and um, toilets. And we check for leaks. Um, Common causes, or sorry, we check for the sink and, and fixtures and, and common things that we find are water damage and from leaking sinks and, and toilets that aren't secured properly. It's important to keep an eye on these things and stop them before they get too expensive. We also look into attic spaces and look for signs of poor ventilation and moisture related issues. One of the most common things we come across is disconnected exhaust and uh, vents that have become detached from the roof and are leaking into the attic. This can cause moisture damage and if not stopped, can cause um, extensive damage that may lead up to roof replacement. We also check your insulation and make sure that it's, it's in good shape and not compressed or disturbed, which can lead to heat loss. Basements and crawl spaces. One of the most important things here is to look for water ingress and signs that there has been previous water ingress. It's also a good place to look for for rodents and pest related issues. You can often find water damage and plumbing leaks in these spaces as well. Moisture detection and thermal imaging. Looking for moisture in a house is like looking for a needle in a haystack. So we use the modern technology to find moisture issues not visible to the naked eye. 
This includes using infrared or thermal imaging. Finding them before they cause damage can save money. We also use the thermal imaging to identify any electrical issues, overheating circuits and fixtures. These electro electrical issues can often go uh, unseen. Maintenance inspections provide peace of mind. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, no, thanks, Ken. Great job. Does uh, anybody have any questions for Ken? Um, I do. Uh, Ken, uh, you mentioned checking for moisture and um, over um, overheated circuits and things like that. Are you able to detect mold? Um, well, we do a visual inspection of the mold. I also do an indoor air quality survey, which gives me a little device that can detect um, particulate metal in the air, which could be mold. But to actually identify mold, you need to have an air quality test done which would be something that we would recommend if I see issues that, you know, would would lead me to believe there might be mold in the house, right? Excellent, thank you. I have a question. Um, you talked about um, the AC units. I have an uh, air conditioning unit outside it and I have no idea <laughs> that, what, what am I supposed to do to maintain well, yeah. it? It just sits there and some people have covers on theirs and I'm like, well, mine's just full of leaves and stuff. Like, am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> you want to get rid of those leaves for sure. Um, inside, obviously, always keeping the filters clean. Outside, people don't realize that, you know, that the, the fins at the part that looks like a radiator on the outside, um, that's how it disperses the heat or the cold to, to, opt like, to operate efficiently, right? So it's always a good idea to take like a garden hose on a very light spray every once in a while and just shoot it up and down in the direction of the fins go up oh. and down with it and often like what i i get in mine or whatever is cotton the, when the cotton flies it doesn't take long to plug it up right if the cat disperses the heat or the cold it's not running very well and it's not doing its job you don't need to keep them covered up a lot of people do that um but they are like made of components that don't really rust outside right they're meant to be outside it's not it doesn't hurt it to keep it covered up but you don't need to but you it's definitely don't want to have it covered up when you're using it <laughs> Good to know. I'll go get out there with my hose today. <laughs> oh, I uh, have a quick question for you, Ken. I'm wondering if you could speak to um, potential for home insurance policies to be breached if someone's not maintaining their home adequately. What was that? Sorry. Um, home insurance policies. If there's any clients you've seen or things you've heard where their home insurance policies have been breached because they haven't been maintaining their home. Um, I, I've had not self personal family members experience things like that right um it's not always necessary the case either but you know um definitely like there, there's a possibility that that's one of the things that i'm sure insurance companies are going to look for to try and get out of covering a policy is has the house been properly maintained right like i had um, a friend that had it um you know water ingress and it led back to the insurance company saying that the gutters weren't cleaned properly and maintained and that's what caused it and they weren't covering it a lot of people don't get that um, gutters, how important they are and maintaining them. And, you know, it's such a simple thing, but the devastation I've seen happen from clogged gutters or disconnected downspouts or improperly led away leaders is, uh, it's just unreal. Such an easy thing to fix, right? So. All right, everybody. Uh, I think we're going to get back into the presentation, move along, but 